The Wow Show is proudly sponsored by Waterstone Homes. Built for life. Hello, I'm Lisa Rogers. And I'm Paul Child. And this is The Welsh Show. On tonight's show... As it's St David's Day week, Paul will be cooking up a very special Welsh rarebit at the Millennium Centre. We have Boyce Coitrahain singing for us. We check out one of Wales's most desirable homes. And with us in the studio, it's none other than Tom Jones. Or is it? Hello and welcome to The Well Show. Now, it is, of course, St David's Day this week. You've got anything special planned, Paul? It is St David's Day and every St David's Day week is always busy for me. Every year I do a concert at uh, Port Talbot in the Princess Royal Theatre. And this year, happily, St David's Day falls on a Friday. So we're down there on Friday, March the 1st, myself in the Welsh Television Orchestra and some fantastic guests, comedians and singers. And it's always a really good show. Uh, and then the next day, unfortunately, I have to get on a plane and fly to Los Angeles because um, I'm doing the, the Hollywood Welsh Festival, which is on the 3rd of March. So Sunday, 3rd of March, I'll be in Hollywood. I'm taking the Welsh show cameras out there to um, film a few famous actors over there. Some of our Welsh actors, like uh, Ewan Griffith, is lined up to do it. Oh, yeah. So I've got a very busy St. David's Day weekend. What about you? How come you're going to LA and not me? Somebody's got to do it, and they asked me first. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to be dressing my daughters up in Welsh outfits. That's what I'm going to be doing. Well, I hope you have a lovely time. Yeah, sure you will. Thanks very much. <laughs> now, speaking of uh, international Welsh superstars, I did St. David's Day week. We decided we wanted to get a, a really, really big Welsh celebrity and top international Welsh superstar on the show. So we asked Tom Jones. Oh, yeah. What did he say? He said, who the hell are you? Yeah. So we got the next best thing. We have the one and only Dean Jones. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How, How are you, Paul? Hello, Lisa. Oh, Dean, welcome to the, uh, to the Welsh show. I've got to say, you do look like Tom Jones. Oh, thank you very much. Are you related in any way? <laughs> Um, I think he came round uh, in the early 70s as a, as a milkman. Yeah. Yes. Not, my, not my mum's door. I didn't say not, no, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so other than looking like him, how did you get into the whole Tom Jones impersonating thing? Um, well, basically, uh, from a karaoke singer a year ago, um, I'd done a competition called Open Mic UK, anyway. And somebody there said, oh, your voice is so much like Tom Jones. Do you ever fancy doing some Tom Jones songs? And I thought, well... Why not? My hair wasn't like this and I didn't have a beard like this right. at the time. But anyway, so I'd done a few songs and I thought, I won't get into this. And people come on to me and say, yeah, you want to do more Tom Jones. So that's what I'd done. Um, and I put him on YouTube then. And uh, this guy from Scotland, he, he picked it up and he said, oh, well, fantastic. Come and do a show. And we'd done a tribute show because he's a tribute artist himself. Up in rock, Scotland? Up in Scotland, right. 500 miles away. <laughs> and what, who's he a tribute artist for? Uh, he's a Rod Stewart. Oh, of course, of He's course. Stuart, yeah. right. An awesome Mr. Bob White, what we call him. Mm -hmm. so. But uh, a fantastic guy. And um, as I was progressing as a Tom Jones, then Paul, um, on the social networking site, Facebook, uh, oh, said... So, yeah. Did you? <laughs> I, discovered, yeah, I discovered this nutcase. Yeah. This nutcase, yeah. <laughs> and you thought, it. he's a bit good. Yeah. Now, did you have all the, uh, the clobber in your wardrobe anyway? No, <laughs> no, no. No, I am a Batman suit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, the clobber, no, it's come over time. I mean, obviously, um, I wanted um, the Las Vegas Tom Jones. Right. Because um, obviously he's gone into suits and everything now. But I wanted the frilly shirts. I wanted the, the character of Tom Jones from the early days. Because I'm a younger guy as well than Tom Jones. I mean, uh, I didn't want to dye my hair grey and go that much. But I've had my hair naturally helped, if you know right. what I mean. I, see. I know what you say. Okay. Yes, it's, um, it's not so curly. But it's a lot more curlier than it is now, you know what I mean? Right. I know he's saying. A little hairdresser <laughs> is giving you a bit of hair. Well, Tom yes. used to do a little bit of that, didn't he? Oh, I'm sure he oh, did. did he know? I think he did, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the most important <laughs> question is, have ladies in the audience ever thrown their pants at you? Uh, they've thrown uh, lots of knickers, yes, and spanks. <laughs> spanks. <laughs> they take a while to get off. Crikey. And lots of men's pants as well. That was a bit... Uh, That's a bit worrying, yeah. Yeah, Superman pants and things. Oh, right. No good, no good. <laughs> <laughs> so where does it go from here? Well, it goes from here. Um, well, basically, for the last year now, what's happened is um, I've gone from um, a nobody to somebody who's going out there now and going abroad and going to places like France. i just come off a conversation this morning now from Cyprus. So, you know, it's going global. It's going global. It's going Tom global. Jones goes global. Fantastic. Tom Jones has helped yeah. me out. I'm trying to fill his shoes, but yeah. I never will. <laughs> but I'm trying and hard. I work hard as much as I can. 
You are so like him. I mean, don't, I I mean it's like, not just for him, but you really... He's so... <laughs> he's dude, great fun to have. I've, 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 I've had him on the, on the, on the tour, oh. and he's, he's great fun to have. But when he performs with a band and does the Tom Jones stuff, you know, the voice is there as well. So you've got the best of both worlds. He doesn't take himself too seriously. That's it. You know, he does Tom Jones brilliantly, and he's just great fun to be around. You know? It's like a staff's par staff, staff work party, you know? Yeah. It's like an end of year works party. We go out and we have a really good time. I think Tony Bennett said once that um, if you enjoy a thing, especially with music, it's not like work. You know, you're getting paid for what you enjoy. It's your ambition. You know, so it's really, true. I got so much drive, and I really want to keep it going. So, like, like people like Paul as well, and uh, help me, help me along, mentors on the way. So, you know, thank you very much for that. <laughs> I'd be called worse. That's oh, right, right then, here we go. <laughs> well, of course, Dean's on the, on the St David's Day show. You couldn't have a St David's Day show without without this guy, could you? So. Brilliant. He's on the show with us in Botswana on Friday. Looking forward to it. Come down. It sounds fabulous. <laughs> yeah, good night. Now you, because you're such an expert cook. Getting good. Um, went along with the Millennium Centre to learn how to do a very special Welsh dish of St David's Day. Well, I thought, seeing as it's St David's Day week, what can we all cook that's nice and easy to celebrate St David's Day? So I went along to see the head chef at the Millennium Centre. So we're at the fresh restaurant at the Millennium Centre in Cardiff, and I'm here with the head chef, Kurt, who is going to teach me today how to make the best Welsh rabbit in Wales. Well, we've got some finest um, ingredients from all over Wales. Um, we've got some uh, brains beer and some, some mustard that's made in Wales and some Collier's cheddar. And we're going to combine all these fabulous ingredients and make the perfect Welsh rabbit. Okay, so we're going to get you to uh, start cooking now, Paul. Okay. So, into there, I want you to pop the uh, 50 grams of butter. 50 grams of butter. Okay, and then Yours. pop that straight back on the stove. Straight to the centre, and we want that to, uh, to melt and to bubble. So you can be making this at home tonight, or on St David's Day. Absolutely. And of course, we're going to put the website, uh, the uh, recipe for this, I should say, on the website. So there's no excuse for everybody to make this. If I can make it, everyone can make it. Okay, and then into that, can you add 50 grams of flour? All in at once and give it a good stir around. That's it. Uh, what you've done there is made a roux, which is um, butter and flour in equal quantities. Okay. And uh, we need to cook that out for about two to three minutes. Okay, now into that, what I want you to do is just gradually pour some brains beer. Okay, so just a little egg cup full first, that's enough. That's perfect, it's starting to change colour. You can smell the beer smell already. Yeah, it smells great. Now a little bit. And the secret to this as well is just you add little by little. Get a little bit warmer now. Yeah. Also, into that, I'd like you to add just a couple of dribbles of uh, Worcester sauce. That's perfect. About two tablespoons of uh, double dragon mustard. Double dragon Welsh mustard. Absolutely. Okay, now what we're going to do is add a good load of Collier's cheddar. Okay. Okay. Like I said, strong, it's powerful, and it gives it a little salty nuttiness as well. Taste of okay. How much was that? 250 grams. Right. You could use less, you could use more, depending on your taste. Whether you like it cheesy or whether you like, you know, strong, powerful, yep. you've got to be done. You've got to be cheesy. Proper Welsh rabbit. Here it goes. Okay, so when that's all amalgamated in, we'll, um, we'll set about doing the toast. Okay, excellent. Okay, so we've got our toast. Toast, nice and golden brown. Back over to the bench. Okay, now pick up a little bit on your spatula. Just place it on the toast. And then spread. There we go. So if I'm left handed, so this might be a little bit tricky. I'll see if I can get you a left handed toast. <laughs> Cat-handed, actually. So we're just gonna grate a little bit more. Sprinkle that straight over the top. There, there has been recordings of um, Welsh rabbit or, or cooked cheese from the 1700s. Really? Um, it's something that uh, has been it's been written about. It was the poor man's meat. Right. Apparently cheese. 
uh, and this is what they used to do with it. Um, and it's it's very traditionally Welsh, and it was actually written in Welsh in, in the 1700s. So um, there we go, complete Welsh rabbit. And now uh, I'll show what, what we do with that. We present it on a on a slate. It's a Welsh slate, a piece of Welsh slate. Two nice pieces of toast. A little mixture of uh, rocket, spinach, radicchio lettuce, watercress, and nice bitter and peppery leaves to go with that nice sweet, uh, you know, sweet nutty, salty cheese. And we just put that on the side. Nice and colourful, and nice and tasty. So there you go, perfect St David's Day, a bit of Welsh rabbit, nice and easy recipe that was going to be on the website, which is colliercheese.com. No excuse for not cooking yourself a bit of Welsh rabbit, and if you're feeling a bit adventurous... <laughs> if you're feeling adventurous, you could do some with bacon and lava bread. Um, again, same simple recipe, just with the addition of, uh, you know, another Welsh ingredient, lava bread, um, and bacon. There you go. That's too much good. Brilliant. No problem. Thanks a lot. Oh, do you know what? You're going to have to bring some of this food back for me. I love cheese. Love it, love it, love it. Very, very nice. It was too, very plain. Mm. Did it taste as good as it looked? Really did, yeah. And I'm making it, I'm making it Friday night, St. David's Day. Very nice too. Do you like a bit of Welsh cheese? Oh, yes, all? very much so. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and can you cook? Are you, are you a good cook? I am a good cook, yes. I'll have a go in the kitchen, make a mess. I think the end product <laughs> is pretty good. I think uh, Miss, Mrs. Jones, <laughs> she's, she's there cleaning up after me thinking, oh, I can hear the banging going on. And I don't even go in the kitchen then. It sounds like Tom and he's not singing, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back after the break with more from Dean and a look around a very special house in Clannishan. Yeah, so join us then. <laughs>